In addition to being one of the core parts of the photosynthetic equation, water is essential for fluid transfer in a plant. Sugars are moved around by water, so are hormones, and then transpiration through the leaves moves water and nutrients along with it up from the roots. The majority of a tree, the wood, is made up of about 55% water, which is similar to the human body. But water makes up about 85% of a tree's growing shoot or root. For plant health, we firstly need to consider water quality. Some very good water for humans is really bad for many plants. Highly alkaline water is common in arid areas and is used in many cities to protect the pipes. And yet this can create big problems in plant physiology, particularly for container culture. Why is pH important? The pH of the water determines what minerals can be brought into the cells of the root hairs. A pH of 6 to 6.5 is ideal for most plants. Above 7.5 and corrective measures should be taken. Under alkaline conditions, minerals and nutrient deficiencies occur. Plant growth may be limited by deficiencies in iron, manganese, zinc, copper, and boron. Phosphorus is also less available in alkaline soils, and high levels of calcium may inhibit the uptake of potassium and magnesium. Magnesium is one of the major elements in the molecule of chlorophyll. On the other hand, too acidic soil or water can result in mineral toxicities, too much iron or manganese, for instance, which is the opposite problem of alkalinity. Although there are other environmental factors that can cause yellowing in trees, like overwatering, if our trees look pale or yellow, pH is one of the first things to look into. Get a liquid drop pH test kit from a pet store. And if you determine a problem, adjust the pH of the water up or down with acid or baking soda so that it comes out of the hose at 6 to 6.5, with which you can grow most plants. Why is water hardness a problem? Aside from coating our leaves and pots with the whitest residue, very hard water can cause limitations in plant growth. In extreme cases, it can lead to actual trouble taking up water, which is an osmotic problem due to salt concentrations being higher outside the roots. Water hardness can also make trees look pale and lackluster due to nutrient deficiencies. This is a very common problem in arid areas. Very hard water, above 150 parts per million, might warrant the collection of rainwater or the use of a reverse osmosis system. Once we have good water, how do we apply it? The timing of watering is an important skill to master. And in general, if the soil has live moss growing on the surface, when that begins to look shriveled, one can consider watering. If no moss is present, most soils look darker when moist and lighter when dry. It's important to catch the tree just as it begins to dry out on the surface. If we wait until the next day after the surface runs.